want to rip your Blu-ray discs to digital formats for easy playback on any device? In this video, I'll show you how to use DVD Fab Blu-ray Ripper or in short just DVD Fab for the fastest and easiest way to convert your Blu-rays into MP4, MKV and more while keeping HD quality. It should be noted that DVD Fab supports both Mac and Windows. If you use Windows, download Windows version. If you use Mac, download Mac's version. So let's get started. So just head to this website, DVD Fab. You can test the app by download the free trial version first to see how it works. But you need to understand that the free trial version only has limited function. And if you find the app useful and want the fully unrestricted functions of the app, please come back to the official site and purchase the app genuinely. So to download the app, just click on free trial here. I already downloaded and installed the app. Once you're done, just open it. It's right here. DVD Fab 13, open it. It will present you with this. Just click on Start DVD Fab 13. So, for this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to rip a Blu ray disc into a digital format. In this case, I would choose MP4. So, to rip your Blu ray disc, you go to Ripper here and you click on Add Source. Now, there are two ways to rip. You can rip directly from a disk drive. In that case, you have to purchase the Blu-ray DVD drive to connect it to your computer. But in my case, I do not have a Blu-ray DVD drive. So I will make use of the Blu-ray ISO file, which is the image file of the Blu-ray disc. It's going to work the same way. It's just that if you convert directly from a Blu-ray DVD, the process might be a little bit slower because it is a physical disc, which means if your disc is old or gets scratched or damaged on it, it will take a while to rip. But in my case, I make use of the image or ISO version of the Blu-ray disc, so it will convert faster. So I just like this Blu-ray disc here called Rogue One, the Battle of Scary Blu-ray. I click on open and start processing. Just wait for it. So after you add the Blu-ray DVD in, this is what you see. You have the option to choose other titles here. You can select specific titles, like each of these has different runtime. But if you want to convert them all, just let it be like that. It will select all the titles for you. And then you want to rename this to whatever you want, like I would put video tested. And right here you have the option to add subtitle to it if you have subtitle and up here refer to the format you want to convert it to you can convert to theater mkv or use ai upscaler or ai hd or up converter or choose other profile you want so these are the formats you can convert to you can also choose 4k 8k and so on you can choose other formats like avi mov or choose web optimized like for youtube video for ai hrd up converter you have mkv and before and so on so you can just explore here and select the ones you want if i want 4k i can also do so here yeah, show 4k but remember 4k will consume more space if i choose mobile you see the space it consumes only 1390 megabytes and say fast speed but if you choose 4k and select 4k here it will change to 5350 it's like 5 gigabytes but it is in 4k and if you want high quality of course you can even select this one here it will consume up to 10 gigabytes or select fast speed if i select fast speed it's still convert 4k but the quality might be not as clear as if you choose standard or high quality so for this demonstration only i would choose standard so after it converts the size of this file will be about 5 gigabytes now you move this to the left and then try to maximize this you will see that it now provides you with more options here. The first option is to preview the video first by clicking here. It will preview the video for you. The next option is called advanced settings. If you click on it, the advanced settings page will pop up and this is what it looks like. So in here, you can make changes to video codec like you can change from h264 to h265 resolution you can also manually change here just type in the resolutions you want because it supports up to 8k encoding method you can choose c or f or high quality encoding or just leave it with fast encoding one pass video quality you can select just like from what you've seen earlier in the front page you can select from fast speed standard high quality or customized bit rate you can also change 
frame rate as well you can make changes to the frame rate as well currently it's at 23 you can select as high as 29.97 if you want to split it by chapter you can also do so as well and once you're done you just click on ok the next feature is called video edit so this feature allows you to edit the video first you have the option to rotate the video you can also crop it what size you want to crop just input the resolution or the size you want to crop or just keep original and distance to edge you can also make changes to that if you're sure about this you can do it but for me I would leave it the way it is you can also make changes to the effect of the video put watermark to it add subtitles you can also adjust the audio volume and also adjusting the speed of the video once everything is done you just click on OK next you can also trim the video by clicking on this icon here you can select where you want to trim and once you're happy you can trim it so in my case, I don't want to trim my video, I just leave it like that. Once you're done with the extra features here, you can leave it like that or minimize it. Like what I do here. And before you convert, you also have to check your output. In my case, I leave it on my desktop for easy access. You can also make changes to it by clicking on this folder icon. Select where you want it to save. You can even store it directly onto your external SSD. If you don't want it to store on your computer. Or you let it convert and store on your computer first and then transfer it to your SSD or other external hard disk. So in my case, I just leave it on my desktop so that it can access it easily. Once everything is ready, you just click on start and you just have to sit tight and wait for it once again it will make use of GPU acceleration engine to help to convert the file or your DVD much faster okay now you can see the process has been completed just click on OK and here's the file and you can see the size is now 5.5 gigabytes so let's see the resolution first before we view it so the dimension is 3840 by 1608 that is a 4k resolution so for copyright reason i have to mute the sound let's view the video So as you can see the video works perfectly fine and it's also in 4k resolution so if you need a reliable high quality blu-ray ripper i highly recommend dvd fab blu-ray ripper it's packed with features fast and super easy to use once again if you're interested in the app you can download the free trial version first from the link in the descriptions below if you like what we do please give us a thumbs up comment down below and subscribe to help us grow thank you so much for watching have a great day guys see you in the next video